25 February 2022 Morning Murli Am Shanti Baptada Madhupan Sweet children follow the father Srimad at every step and imbibe the father's teachings thus is having mercy for yourselves question how are the child emperor and the master the advisor all together at this time answer the child emperor is the vice of lust and the master the advisor is anger the two are deeply connected with one another all human beings are at present under the influence of these two samfan who becomes a child of the father but then comes under the influence of lust or anger would become one who gives the father a bad name such children cross out their fortune baba says sweet children conquer this enemies it is said of anger wherever there is anger even the water on rise up song do not forget the days of your childhood am shanti do you children know who has come into the gathering bab and dada both together if he were corporeal then bab would be separate from dada this is a wonderful sign who has come the intellects of the children say that shri baba has come only the one father not two fathers is the creator of heaven yes he definitely has helpers both the father and the children do the work it is the greatness of the father and so it is also the greatness of the children this dada is also a child you come here to class the word gathering is common there are many gatherings this is the study place of god it is seen everywhere that each one is listening to the knowledge and imbibing it their faces are blooming while listening their mercury of happiness rises there are also limited fathers teachers and gurus that one is the unlimited father and teacher today he is teaching you and so how high should the mercury of happiness rise there are many children it is said god shiv speaks or even shivacharya man shiv the teacher is teaching us he is the ocean of knowledge after shivacharya comes shankaracharya there are two types of renunciation thus renunciation aids for becoming satapradhan that is it is easy yoga you know that the father has entered the body of this dada this is why you have to say bab dada there are the grandchildren there a corporeal father becomes a grandfather and then a great grandfather here the grandfather is in corporeal baba enters this one and speaks the knowledge to you those who belong to the brahmin clan are god's children you see oh supreme father supreme soul we belong to you and then plead our parts of eighty four births it is such an easy aspect in the world when a father has five or seven children one or two of them would be unworthy this father had so many children and so there would be some worthy as well as some unworthy children some have the influence of lust and some the influence of anger if even one person in a home has anger there would be fighting an angry person makes a household very unhappy here too if some have an evil spirit of anger 
they became those who spoiled Shubhaba's name. They gave the father a bad name. That is, they cross out their own fortune. Anger is a very great enemy. Where there is anger and sorrow, that is called hell. It is said that anger even dries up the water in the urn in the one's home. So, the father explains that those who have anger receive the Srimad. Do not make others unhappy due to your anger. Otherwise, your fortune will be crossed out and your status destroyed. Instead of being God's children, you would become the devil's children. Here, it is written, Deity sovereignty is your Godfatherly birthright. It is your right to claim the full inheritance of the Golden Age. You have to claim the full inheritance and become Lakshmi or Narayan. If someone becomes even one of the subjects in heaven, that too is a great fortune. At least they would go there. Establishment took place gradually. They are then met to make a promise and have a rakhi tied on them. No one can remain hidden. You Brahmins are now God's children. Baba asks, is your clan greater or is the deity clan greater? Which clan is more elevated? Means that of the Brahmins. We cannot say that the deities are as elevated. The Brahmins belongs to God's clan and they make Bharat into heaven. Brahmins are said to be the top nod. In fact, they should build a temple to Shiv on a high mountain. But because no one nowadays would be able to climb up there, they built them in the cities. Shibaba is the highest on high and so his temple should also be high. On a mountain top, look at the state of the world. Everyone is completely ruined. The father comes and makes everyone prosperous again. All of you became prosperous at the confluence age. You were residents of hell for a total of 63 births. There is an accurate calculation. You rule in heaven for 21 births and you then continue to descend for 63 births. Your degrees continue to decrease. Now, no degrees remain. All of you are in the dust. There is a saying, even if you decorate a donkey a hundred times, it will still go and roll in the dust. That refers to this time. Baba says, I decorate you so that you become like Lakshmi or Narayan. But the vices then make you fall into the dust. The dust of anger continues to distress you. There are many who have a lot of anger. Violence is also a form of anger. Without anger, they cannot attack anyone. If someone doesn't receive a share of the property, he gets angry and a brother would kill a brother. This fighting begins with anger. The father explains, Beloved children, do not get angry. Otherwise, you will cross out your line of fortune and the fortune of your companions means with whom you are angry will also be crossed out out of anger people say if you come to my house i will kill you the father now puts you mothers in the front you know that you became shushaktis every cycle shubhava comes and makes you belong to him if your children didn't exist what could Shubhaba do by himself? You Shiv Shaktis are very well known in Bharat. If you haven't seen a temple built as your memorial, you can see one in Abu. It is your accurate memorial. There are also the images of the elephant riders. It is a wonder that you have come and taken up residence here. Since you celebrate the birth of Shiv, he must definitely have come here. Do you know when and how he came? You do not know the occupation of the one 
who made Bharat as valuable as a diamond. The deities were at first Brahmins, who then became as valuable as diamonds. The Brahmins who helped Baba became deities. You can explain about their occupation to everyone. However, only a few will understand because there is a limit to the kingdom. This is why it is said a handful out of many millions. Even after speaking of Mama and Baba, some children forget Baba. Oh Maya, you are so powerful. This continues to happen. Even great commanders die when they are shot. Many soldiers also die. When important ones die, there are cries of distress. Maya killed so and so in the Shiv Shakti army. This has to happen. There isn't as much concern when someone from the infantry dies. But from a Maharati, everyone would say, Oh, Maya has killed that one. It isn't that he won't go to heaven. He will go, but his status will be reduced. This is why Baba says you must not go into that line. Those who went away a cycle ago will do so again. Some write so and so came regularly for four years, but Maya has now caught hold of him. Just as when a fly dies, ants eat it and it is completely finished. So the five evil spirits of Maya totally destroy that person. Your children now know the occupation of everyone. How many births do those of Islam, the Buddhist and the Christian stick? You know this too. The locks on your intellects have opened so much. Each of you has received a powerful third eye of knowledge. Baba says the Gita is the main one and the rest are its children. The Gita is the mother and father. The Gita is the mother and Shiv is the father and we are created through the Gita. In fact, all the other scriptures are also created through this. Just as the head of souls, Shibaba is at the very top, in the same way, the head of all the scriptures is the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, the dwell of all the scriptures. It is just that by saying that they are the virgins of God, Shri Krishna, they have made the impact of the whole of the Gita disappear. Thus too, it's fixed in the drama. The main thing is to remember Shri Baba constantly. Those who follow the father Srimad accurately will continue to increase their remembrance of Shri Baba. The more obedient and faithful you remain, the more you will be able to surrender yourselves to Baba. Baba, I now surrender myself to you. You have to forget everything including your body and become completely alone. You have to have renunciation to that extent. Many children are completely free from any bondage whereas others who have attachment continue to come here like ants. If you have attachment to your husband or your children, you cannot have your intellect connected in yoga with Shubhaba. That is, until you surrender yourselves with an honest heart to the Lord. Many tell lies, but you have to sacrifice yourselves completely. You have to become a complete trustee and take Srimad at every step. Many children send their accounts to Shubhaba and then they ask, should I get my children married or should I build a house? Yes, you may do that. It doesn't matter. You are never told no to anything. When you become completely free from attachment, you even then have no need to ask. However, this doesn't mean that if you ask whether you can enlarge in vice, you would be told yes, no. That would be foolishness. However, if there would be no loss or damage in something, yes, you may do that. Conquer attachment and you can then do whatever you want. The father knows that 
you will stay busy doing service and that of you will continue to follow the father the older children sacrifice themselves there is also praise of their sacrifice all are poor the mothers are very good they do not need to surrender themselves only those who are wealthy have to surrender themselves people do not give anything to woman hardly anyone wills everything to his wife otherwise their children would take everything away nowadays no one listens to anyone give me a little money and i will put everything right they even give a false judgment and it doesn't even matter to them if someone is totally ruined baba is called the supreme justice the supreme teacher and the supreme sadguru and he is also then the supreme dharmraj there cannot be any fluctuation in his judgment there isn't anything like that fixed in the drama however here there are many courts each one higher than the next in some places no one even listens to the president therefore the father says beloved children you have to become bodiless you have to return home with the father the father is the guide he is also called the liberator all the titles are his he is also called the peacemaker nowadays people give peace prizes it is maya that makes you peaceless peace exists in the golden age and the land of liberation in the land beyond sound there is total peace in the golden age too there is 100% peace purity and prosperity the very name is the land of happiness how could there be peace in the land of sorrow perhaps sanyasis have a little peace but that is like a droppings of a crop you wouldn't say that in the golden age here even a kingdom is like the droppings of a crop baba explains maya will slap you a great deal you will then continue to choke internally and not tell the truth you must tell the truth to the eternal surgeon otherwise if you do not speak the truth your sins will continue to increase and there would be severe punishment acha so you should not commit any sin in the future the punishment for bringing a bad name to baba is very severe the father has come to make you and the masters of the world and those who create obstacles and thus bring punishment upon themselves devils create obstacles your children should not create obstacles there is benefit and thus for your children it is a sin even to look at the face of an angry person hear no evil see no evil you must not even look at the face of an angry person greed and attachment are no less the child emperor is lust and the master the advisor is anger both of them are great bandits anger is a very dirty bandit those who claim a full inheritance from the father and glorify his name are worthy children this baba says the daughters are cleverer than i am no one can be cleverer than shri baba the father places the children on his head unlimited bab dada has love and regard for the children he desires each child to claim his fortune of the kingdom and to be constantly happy the father would say child may you stay alive may you have a long life have mercy for yourselves by imbibing the teachings that the father gives you if you do not follow shrimat you cross out your line of fortune you know that shri baba has come from the supreme abode to give you your inheritance of heaven to the extent that each of you makes effort to the extent that you have mercy for yourselves you will accordingly make yourselves elevated if you enlight in vice your light will be extinguished and you will not then be able to imbibe the oil of knowledge acha to the sweetest beloved long lost 
and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father baptada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point you must completely surrender yourself to the lord from deep within your heart become a complete trustee and follow shrimad at every step forget everything including your body and be alone second point after becoming a child of the father you must not create any obstacles in the father's task you must not do anything that would bring spoil baba's name become obedient and faithful blessing may you transform yourselves by discerning the time and the atmosphere and become loved by all explanation those who have the power of transformation are loved by all they are easy in their ideas too they have the power to mold themselves they would never ask my idea my plan my service where so good and so by where they not accepted to have this consciousness of mind means that there is a law mixed with them so descend the time and the atmosphere and transform yourselves and you will be loved by all and become a number one victorious soul slogan become one who finishes problems not one who is an embodiment of problems om shanti